Hi, I'm Dr. Annette Childs. I'm a psychologist and an author, and I've spent the last 20 years working specifically with those at the end of life and their bereaved family members. Today, I would like to talk to you about the journey from loss to healing. Grief and loss, two simple one-syllable words with the power to bring the strongest among us to our knees. In my years of working with those at the end of life, I began to personify these immutable forces of grief and loss as hooded, faceless visitors sent out by the universe to wake us to our own light. This philosophy seemed hauntingly accurate as I helped hundreds of families each year open their lives to these visitors that eventually find us all. Watching this same journey unfold for so many has led me to write the, the award-winning book, Will You Dance? It has become a treasured companion among grieving people the world over. Will You Dance tells the story of three hooded and cloaked visitors who arrive on your doorstep unannounced. Their names are change, loss, and fear. And no matter how good you've been, how carefully you have lived your life, what you've done right, what you've done wrong, eventually this trio will knock upon your door and find their way into your world. When they arrive, you have no choice but to answer and to let them in. As you close the door behind them, you realize they've come to set up house and you are given no choice but to surrender. As time moves on, you eventually grow accustomed to their presence. Each night, you set a place for them at the dinner table as you have learned that they are your companions in everything that you do. Slowly, you begin to accept the gifts that they offer. As these gifts draw you up and into a place that you have not known before, suddenly there is another knock on the door. You rise to answer the call, and as you open the door, standing before you are three more hooded figures. Change, loss, and fear exchange sly smiles as they greet their hooded friends, whose names are hope, faith, and joy. As you stand there perplexed, loss turns to you and says, in the ways of the universe, hope, faith, and joy can only arrive after we, the trio of change, loss, and fear, have traveled ahead and made a space for them. Indeed, when we have received these dreaded visitors of change, loss, and fear, when we have let them in and let them make a home within us, it is then that hope, faith, and joy can find us and enter the dance of our lives. For we are meant to dance with it all, as much the sorrow as the joy. So remember, when change, loss, and fear arrive on your doorstep, they are but early messengers in this dance of life. The circle will fill, and soon sorrow's hand will drop away, and it will be faith that partners with you next. And the music of the universe, it plays always for each of us. And whether the melody that you hear today is somber or light, remember that no matter how hard the journey, we are always meant to dance.